Our story begins with a dramatic entrance to an island called Snacktooth, where I, a journalist looking for a story to tell, will do my due diligence and uncover the secrets of the island. My presence at the island was requested by the leader of a group of followers named Lisbert, who was the one who discovered a new type of creature inhabiting Snacktooth, Bug Snacks. Bug Snacks are half bug and half snack creatures and they have a unique ability to transform parts of your body into food. The group of grumpuses on the island are enthralled by these creatures and will do what they must to get their paws on them. This is Bug Snacks. In this video, I will be taking you along my journey to not only complete the game, but also unlock all of the achievements it has to offer. So please sit back and enjoy, and thank you for joining me on this adventure. I quickly found one of the inhabitants of Snacktooth. Philbo. Philbo Fiddlepie is in charge of the town's central hub, Snacksburg. He is quite clumsy and lacks confidence, but he has a good heart. Philbo is in need of food, so I begin learning the ropes of catching bug snacks. It doesn't matter who you are. Please give me something to eat. I have to first scan the bug snacks with my snack scope to learn their characteristics and their patterns in order to learn how to catch them. Then, I get my first tool to aid me in trapping bug snacks, a snack trap. The snack trap is the most basic device that simply traps a bug snack within its range to allow for an easy capture. I caught my first bug snack. In doing so, I also unlocked my first achievement. Strabby. Hey, achievement unlocked. Catch your first bug snack. I feed the strabby to Philbo and see the effect that bug snacks have firsthand as it transforms his arm into strawberries. Oh, yes. I'm safe. He just grows strawberries as a hand? After feeding Fibble three more snacks, we continue our way towards Snacksburg. Before we arrive at Snacksburg, we first pass through Garden Grove, where we then meet Wambus. Wambus Trebleham is a farmer who is fiercely protective of his crops. He's tough and unsociable, but he has a heart for loving his wife, Triffany. Now kindly leave and take a ketchup for the road. Bunker, 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 bunker. Ah! I am then given a saw slinger to help Wambus protect his garden from a bunger. Different snacks like different kinds of sauce, allowing for an easy way to corral them to where you need them to go. I trap the bunger in the pen and proceed to feed Wambus a few snacks, after which he gives me a net that allows me to catch stunned or vulnerable bug snacks. He then opens the path and I scurry along. <clears throat> then I met a new grumpus, Bethica. Bethika Winklesnoot is a social media influencer who likes to spread and cause drama, but can be charming when she wants to. I'm Bethika Winklesnoot, and I know everything about everybody. She gives me a journal that will help me keep track of everything I learn, from bug snacks to grumpuses. Philbo and I then finally arrive at Snacksburg, where I unlock my next achievement. Well, here we are. Ooh, wait! It's a regular old ghost town. Once at Snacksburg, I find out that the Grumpuses had all left after their leader, Lisbert, went out hunting one day and never came back. My first big task is to find all of the Grumpuses and convince them to return to Snacksburg, and I must then interview all of them to get more information on Lisbert's whereabouts. I start with Bethika. She tasks me with feeding her some snacks and snooping on Wambus to see what he gets up to in the middle of the night. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus X totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to and tell me. Before I complete her quest, I get sidetracked by my first side quest from Wambus, which has me plant bug snacks in his garden in an attempt to grow them. Now, all the side quests from each Grumpus relate to their own agenda, so I will not bother showing you these because I want the story to be the main focus. Also, the side quests are essentially the same thing. For most of them, it's just catching various bug snacks and feeding the Grumpus that gave you the task. Rinse and repeat. It gets quite repetitive. Trust me, you won't be missing out on anything by not seeing them completed. Anyways, back to the story. Oh, Triffy. I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. So, after watching Wambus talk to the cactus version of his wife and telling Befica, she decides to move back to town. Then I head towards the beach where I meet a strange scientist who was studying the effects that bug snacks have on grumpuses. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. 
They give me a snack narrator, which allows me to choose which body part to transform on a Grumpus after feeding them a bug snack. The tool is not a necessity to my journey, but it's a fun one to have. After that weird encounter, I stumble upon Wiggle and Gramble. Rebel Giggle Funny is a kind-hearted Grumpus who likes to keep bug snacks as pets rather than eat them. Wiggle Wiggle Bottom is a pop star known for her one-hit wonder, Do the Wiggle. She pretends to be in love with Grandpa in order to get close to him to eat his bug snack pets. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. After meeting Grandpa, I unlocked another new tool, the Buggy Ball. The buggy ball has multiple uses, such as luring bug snacks towards a trap by covering them with sauce and getting them out of tight spaces and into the open, custom to be available to capture. Grandpa won't go back home until his bug snacks are back with him, so I have to capture them and bring them back to him. While I was doing this, I unintentionally unlocked another achievement for capturing more than one bug snack at once. I got two in one. Oh, achievement, double trapper, catch more than one bug snack in my trap at once. After getting all of his companions back, Granville decides to return to Snacksburg. Then I attempted to get Wiggle to come back as well. In order to accomplish this, I needed to catch more snacks to transform Wiggle so she could get inspiration to write another song. <gasps> you want me to come back to town? Darling, it will have to wait. I simply cannot rest until I find my muse. And by muse, I mean bug snacks. She requested some snacks that I did not have access to yet, so I had to briefly wait. Mm, I know I'm flowing. I'm flowing. After a couple of interviews, it was time for a small welcome back party. After the party, the path to the Scourged Gorge was opened up so I could get the bug snacks that Wiggle wanted. After I fed her again, she made her way back home. I got my first side quest from Grandpa, which introduced me to donating snacks to his barn. If you donate enough, you will unlock more backpack space to hold more bug snacks. This will come in handy later when I have multiple quests that need bug snacks. Philbo then brought me to my very own hut in Snacksburg. Ta-da! It's your very own mailbox! Throughout the game, I will receive mail that gives me various pieces of furniture for my new hut. We will return to this later for an achievement. I went back to Scorch Gorge to meet another Grumpus, Cromdo. Hello, friend! Welcome! Come on over, take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Cromdo Face is a shady businessman who doesn't care about anyone's feelings and will try to con everyone to advance his wealth. After talking to Cromdo, he gives me a lunch pad in return for fixing his windmills. The lunch pad does exactly what you think. It launches stuff. It can be used with other tools to catch many bug snacks. For example, putting the snack trap on the lunch pad to catch a flying bug. I once again had to catch more bug snacks to convince Cromdo to come back home. However, just like Wiggle, he wanted some snacks that I did not have access to yet. So I spoke to another Grumpus named Triffany. Oh! Goodness, huh, I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Triffany Lottablog. Triffany Lottablog is an archaeologist with an immense passion for history and discovery, following in her grandmother's footsteps. Triffany, of course, wanted bug snacks. She also wanted to do some discovery. So I helped her unlock some ruins, fed her some snacks, and got her to come back to Snacksburg. With more Krampuses back home, it was time to gather around the campfire. We shared some spooky stories and some strange things happened in the night. You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, time out, I gotta use a little crumb shroom. Ah! 
It was obvious that something strange was happening on Snacktooth Island. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra bringing music to our mouths and once we're dancing to her too she gobbles us up that's precisely right darling after hearing a loud noise at the mill Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us! I investigate and meet another Grumpus that we will talk to in the near future. With the night coming to an end, I checked my mail, did some more interviews, and carried on with my journey. While unsuccessfully trying to catch a sandalpede for a side quest, I unlocked another two achievements. First, I went behind the waterfall and scanned a strange statue to unlock Wonderfalls. I also unlocked the achievement for selling a flying bug snack with another bug snack. But I honestly have no clue when that happened. So here's a clip of what should have happened. Wow. And then, while doing a quest for Pefika, I went back into her cave, picked up her journal, and unlocked Perfter. I then entered Sugar Pine Woods. In Sugar Pine Woods, I meet Chanlo and Snorpy, who are in a romantic relationship. Chanlo Funkbun is a kind-hearted Grumpus that is protective of those he cares about. He prides himself on his strength and is always trying to get stronger. I'm Chanlo Funkbun. With wisdom and lifting, <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Snorpy Fizzlebean is an introverted conspiracy theorist that believes the bug snacks are used to monitor grumpuses on the island. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. He is also an engineer who built some of the tools I use to catch bug snacks. After talking to Snorpy, he gives me a snack grappler. It is used to grab things out of reach and to activate certain mechanisms. To get Chanlo back to town, I have to first help him get his basketballs unstuck. And then, you guessed it, I had to catch some more bug snacks, so I did. While doing so, I unlocked my next achievement for catching 25 unique bug snacks. In order to get Chanlo to leave, I had to convince Snorpy to go home. So first, I made my way to the watch tower to unlock my final bug snack catching tool, the trip shot. This is the most useful tool of all. It allows you to easily stun any bug snacks that walks into it. Just set it up in the path of a bug snack and wait for it to trip over. Phase of the plan. Ah, I'm on fire. After getting the trip shot, I of course had to catch more snacks for Snorpy. After feeding him snacks, Chanlo and Snorpy made their way back to Snacksburg. While in the woods, I got the snacks that Cromdo wanted. After feeding him, he gave me access to a broken bridge and went back home. Then I went back to Snacksburg, and during the night, I heard a scream. It turns out that Befika and Gramble saw a creature that suddenly split into many buck snacks and scattered. After a quick investigation, I found tracks that did not belong to a Grumpus. This is further proof that something mysterious is going on. After some discussion with the group, I learned the locations of two more Grumpuses, and so I once more went off to find more members of the group. I made my way to Boiling Bay to meet Floofty, the mysterious scientist I met earlier. Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Floofty Fizzlebean is a self-proclaimed gastroentomologist who studies the effects of bug snacks. Their main focus is science and any scientific advancements that will help Grumpus kind. Floofty wants more experiments to be done on them using the Snacktivator. After I fed them, they gave me a new and improved Snacktivator that allows me to transform Grumpus's body parts into any type of snack they have already eaten. Again, not pinnacle to the story or even necessary, but a fun thing nonetheless. So for the hundredth time, I captured more bug snacks and fed them to Floofty and convinced them to go to Snacksburg. This means there are only two more Grumpuses to go, one of whom is Shota, who was in the Sizzling Sands. So I headed back to Scourge Gorge and learned that Chanlo has fixed the bridge, allowing me to cross the Sizzling Sands. 
Here, I meet Shelda. Shelda, which is a name to hide her real identity, that being Shelsey Woolbag, is a wise prophet who speaks in riddles and metaphors. In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. She believes that bug snacks are toxins that will bring all the grumpuses to their doom. But we we'll later find out that this is all an act. For Shelda, I actually don't have to catch any bug snacks, but rather set some free. At first, I have to get cheese sauce to feed Shelda. Secondly, I have to crack some shells and break apart a praying percantus, which is actually made up of several smaller bug snacks. Finally, I had to free a black rasby from the ruins. She then makes her way back home. With all the compasses back home, I go on my way to the final area, the Frosted Peak, where the story finally begins to progress further. At the Frosted Peak, I meet Egabel. It's not safe. You need to get off this mountain for the sake of your health and well-being. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Egabel Batternugget is the doctor for Snacksburg. She is also Lisbeth's romantic partner. She lacks confidence and has low self-esteem, which she has had to overcome in efforts to find her lost lover. I soon learned that while Egabel and Lisbeth were exploring the mountain, they were separated during an earthquake. Egabel has been on top of the mountain trying to find Lisbeth since the incident. I followed her to a big mysterious door that she believes Lisbeth is trapped behind. Egabel doesn't know how Lisbeth unlocked the door, so I have to go and find her research to learn how. After that, I learned that the six bug statues had to be activated by putting the correct corresponding bug snack into them. So I gathered the correct bug snacks and activated the statues along with Egabel. However, we weren't quite done. We needed a third Grumpus to activate the door. Okay, next she says, oh. She says we need three Grumpuses to do the final step. I made my way back down the mountain to ask Philbo for help with the door. Though before that, I donated a few more bug snacks to Grandpa's ranch to unlock another achievement. <laughs> After convincing Philbo to help rescue Lisbeth, we made our way back to the mysterious door. Lisbeth thought that beyond the store may be some sort of ancient temple of bug snacks. So Egabel, Philbo, and I tried to open the door, but it didn't work. We need to stand here, here, and here. On three, we push. This is it. Ready? One, two, three. We then learned that while Lisbeth and Egabel were on the mountain, an earthquake struck. Lisbeth saved Egabel from falling down the mountain and proceeded to get swallowed by the earth, so she must be beyond this door. After some convincing from Philbo, Egabel decided to come down from the mountain back to Snacksburg, which then unlocked the achievement for returning all compasses back to Snacksburg. Is together. Thank you, Philbo. Stay safe. I went back to interview the last two compasses and unlocked another achievement. With everyone back in town, it was time for another party. <laughs> Then, out of nowhere, a storm began and it only shows signs of becoming worse. We gotta move! Now! As a group, we set a plan. Egabel, Philbo, and I would go to the mountain to find Lisbeth, and the rest of the group would prepare for the worst. We opened the door and headed inside. We fell into a cave system made up of snacks. We're coming, Liz. One. Two, three! I regrouped with Philbo and went deeper into the snack cave. We come across a big empty room where we find Bug Snacks and Lisbert, who is inside some sort of giant amalgamation of Bug Snacks. After an interview with Lisbert, I learn that the underground of the island is made up of Bug Snacks. It turns out that the Bug Snacks seek out to rid the island of any living creature on the island that isn't one of them. Lisbert has somehow found a way to keep the Bug Snacks at bay from attacking the Grumpuses, but her hold on them was finally wearing off. They're parasites. They get inside you and they change you, your body and your mind. They make you want them. And before you know it, you become them. Egabel finally arrives and learns the truth about the island and Lisbeth. 
Egabel then morphs into the giant creature with Lisbeth to help keep the evil creatures at bay. It was then time to get everyone off of the island. Also, somehow during that cutscene, I unlocked the achievement for transforming a Grumpus with a Bunger fighter and a Sodi. Anyways, back at the surface, Philbo and I make our way back to Snacksburg to warn everyone and help them escape. While we were down below, Snorpy had fixed up our ship for our escape. He then equipped us with deadly versions of our tools to defend from the raging bug snacks. After exterminating many evil snacks, it was time to get away from this dreadful island. We all made our way back to our ship and took off. As we floated away, we watched as the volcano erupted and wreaked havoc on the island and left Lisbeth and Echabel behind. After which, I unlocked two achievements. One for all Grumpus' surviving and another for completing the main story. We then arrived back on shore of the city and we all dispersed in separate directions as our lives together came to an end. Once I returned to work at GNN and tell my boss about the story, it turns out I was fired and somehow I'm legally dead. And so this story comes to an end. However, my time on Snacktooth Island is far from over. I still have 17 more achievements to get. This is where the fun begins. I have some cleanup to do. The main achievement I'll be going for will be to complete all of the side quests. While doing this, I will simultaneously be making progress towards multiple other achievements, including catching 50 and 100 unique bug snacks, fully transform a Grumpus, fully transform all Grumpuses, and defeating all of the legendary bug snacks. Like I mentioned before, the side quests don't stand out from each other. They basically all consist of going out, catching a few bug snacks, and feeding them to one of the Grumpuses. Basic stuff, nothing special. Since I had already beaten the game, I have caught many bug snacks at this point, so it didn't take long to unlock the halfway there achievement for catching 50 unique bug snacks. While I went to different areas catching the required snacks, I made sure to collect random extra snacks to fully transform all of the compasses. For this, you need to transform both parts of each leg and arm, the nose, the teeth, the hair, both horns, and finally their body, meaning you need 14 snacks for each character. So after feeding Flufty a few more snacks, I obtain the I'm Stuffed achievement. The last side quest for a few grumpuses include you defeating legendary bug snacks, which are basically mini bosses. The first legendary bug I face is Mama Melon. To defeat it, you have to trap a Wee Melon, which causes Mama to charge at your trap, stunning herself. You then have to drop a rock on his head. After a few hits, Chandler joins the fight for one final hit to take down Mama Melon. Then I come across Mothza Supreme. To summon them, you have to throw a Bombino at the switch and put your lunch pad on said switch. Once the fight begins, you have to use the Bombinos that Mothza spawns in tandem with your lunch pad to knock Mothza out of the sky. Once grounded, you must pull the switch on the statue to solidify the hits. Again, after some hits, you will defeat the flying beast. Immediately after, I summon Daddy Cake Legs. To defeat him, you must use the trip shot along with the fire to light all of the candles on his body, removing a layer of cake after each stage until you can grab him with a net. The next and final legendary bug snack is Mega Maki. Hear my cry. 
to defeat Mega Monkey, you have to set up the trip shot in order to knock them out of the air. Once you do, you have to capture the Mini Monkey that separate from the train. When all of the Mini Monkey are captured, you are able to catch Mega Maki. With the last legendary bug snack defeated, I unlock another achievement. This boss fight was also the last side quest I needed, so I unlocked that achievement as well. The next achievement I want to get is to fully furnish my hut. What I didn't know is that all of the mail I've gotten was from completing requests given to me via mail from the Grumpuses. And to fully furnish the hut, you need to do around 70 of these quests to unlock the required furniture and a second floor to the hut. So I had to again do a lot more quests. These consisted of donating bug snacks to Gramble, transforming Grumpuses with various snacks, finding lost items, catching all the bug snacks in a given area, and completing other random tasks such as scanning a shiny weenie worm that has ketchup on it. So while doing these tasks, I completed a few more achievements. First, I got an achievement for transforming Gramble. Since Gramble does not eat bug snacks, you have to wait until midnight as he is sleepwalking and then you can feed him. Then I unlocked the grab bag achievement for emptying a biome of all of its snack pods. Snack pods are motionless snacks that are hidden in each biome. There are five in each biome to collect. Finally, I earned the achievement for collecting 100 unique bug snacks. And then, after a few hours, I get enough mail to make my hut nice and pretty to unlock Live Laugh Hut. After collecting a thousand more bugs, I had to go hat hunting. There is a board outside of Gramble's ranch that shows an image of one of the biomes where a bug snack is walking around wearing a hat. I had to capture these bugs to unlock the hat. Doing that 10 times awards me with another achievement. While collecting those hats, I stumbled upon a strange creature in the woods. I scanned it and unlocked a new achievement. Next, I had to throw cheese on a Grumpus and scan them. Throughout all the tasks, I was transforming all of the Grumpuses and I only had one more to transform. So I fed Gramble some more and got the next achievement. Then I transformed Chandler with a Scoopy, a Banopper, and a Cheery to unlock Sunday Best. After that, I tripped a Bunger while having the trip shot attached to the Buggy Ball to get clothesline. I swiftly made my way to the boiling bay to solve a simple puzzle in the volcano. By interacting with these four statues in order, I unlock a secret path to citizen science and an achievement. For the last simple achievement, I had to watch all of Lisbeth's video diaries. By using the keys that I was given by Grumpuses after interviewing them, I was able to obtain all of the videos. I watched them and earned the achievement documentarian. For the final achievement, we have to complete the adventure on Broken Tooth Island a new island that came out of the ocean after some seismic activity. But before we set sail for the island, we have to gather a team. So I convince Floofty, Sheldla, and Trifony to come with us to the island. With the team all gathered, we are off. After a couple of easy puzzles, we arrive at camp. We quickly discover that there are massive bug sacks inhabiting the island. I have to use some sort of shrink spice to get them to a reasonable size in order to catch them. With this knowledge obtained, it made it easy to complete all of the puzzles the island had to offer. Using the new information on the island, Floofty was able to somehow manipulate the shrink spice to make my buggy ball huge. Now it was time for quite an underwhelming boss fight. It just consisted of launching big cheddar orbs at the cheddar bottle wrecks in different ways. After several hits, I broke the glass protecting the boss and I was able to shrink him and capture him. I then went back to Stack Tooth Island and unlocked the final achievement. So that was Bug Snacks. And after hours of continuously catching bugs, I managed to obtain all of the achievements. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what games you would like to see next. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. No, no, I sent them away. It would be hard to make them disappear at this point. Do they suspect anything? Hmm, hard to say. Could be they're idiots. Could be they know the truth and they're keeping it quiet. Very well. We will have to keep our eye on them. Two quid, it does. Omne vivamex bug snack.